Okay, so I have had a question asked a few times. How can I get my Raspberry Pi to work with a VGA monitor? It's actually really simple. What you need to do is you need to have an HDMI to VGA converter. Uh, these can be picked up um, on Amazon or eBay. Um, this is the one that I chose. It's the Camac. Um, it has a VGA, VGA port and it has an audio jack. Um, I didn't pay uh, what they're asking on this one. Um, I want to say I, I got mine for like three or four dollars. Um, they're shipped in the United States. Uh, you just got to look around for it. This is the one that I can confirm actually works with the Raspberry Pi. The other ones, it's hit or miss. Um, I've tried a few of them, and um, some of them work, some of them don't. Um, but I would stick with this one as it's, you know, the most durable and it's the cheapest. Okay, now what you need to do is you need to have um, Raspberry Pi, uh, the Raspbian operating system installed on your Raspberry Pi, and at this point, you'll remove the card from the Pi itself and put it into your computer. Now, when you put it into your computer, you will load up, mine says, uh, Pi Boot. Uh, this should be the rough gist of what um, is on your Pi. I'm not sure what operating system I've got on this one. Um, this is just a, a sample. Um, what you're looking for is the config.txt file, and you want to right-click and edit with Notepad++. Now, the reason you want to edit it with Notepad++ is because it will format everything in a readable format. If you try it with just the edit command, you can't read it. It's damn near impossible to read. So, um, I use Notepad++. It's a free download. Um, should be relatively easy to work with. Um, what we're going to look for now is the HDMI force hot plug. Um, this is usually, where is it? Here it is. Um, your HDMI force hot plug one is what you want to do. Now this, um, I've already done this file, um, but this will be, uh, this will have a hashtag before it. You want to delete that hashtag, otherwise it's just going to comment this out and it's not going to actually work. So you'll remove the, the hashtag and this should be fine. Um, then what you'll do is you'll go down to HDMI group. You'll find HDMI group, which is down here somewhere. Yes, right here. Um, again, it will have a hashtag for it, so you'll have to remove that hashtag. And instead of uh, group 1, which it will normally be, you want digital, which is group 2. Um, this will allow it to work with the monitor. Now, the next thing you have to modify is your HDMI mode. Your HDMI mode is right below it and you want to put 16. Um, actually you can put anything you want in here but it has to match what your monitor is. So if your monitor's resolution maximum is 1024 by 768 at 50 Hertz um, you want to match it. Um, you don't want to use something that is that is not the right um, hertz for your monitor because you risk risk damaging the monitor. Um, Sixteen, pretty much all uh, U.S. made monitors are going to fall into this category. This is a 1080p, uh, 60 hertz, and it's 1024 by 768. This is a good one to start with. So, um, you like I said, you can adjust it. Um, you know, as you need. Um, again, um, you want to 
unhat uncomment that so it will work and then you want to save uh, once you save it it is pretty much good to go and then you can remove this um, from your drive put it in the Raspberry Pi you want to hook up your um, your HDMI uh, cable to the Raspberry Pi and then to the VGA cable hook your audio in to the Raspberry Pi and power it on and you'll be good to go if you like this video go ahead and click the like button and follow me if um if you want to see more of my videos